uh, year seven. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at waves and we're going to look at their impact on the UK. Um, so we've got to remember that max in there about how waves are formed. It's nothing to do with the moon. It's all about friction. It's all about the wind blowing and dragging over the surface of the water and picking up the water, creating little ripples, which are the beginning of waves. And the increase in energy in the wind will increase the energy within the wave. So if we move forward and look at our world map here, the length of water that the wind blows over is called the fetch. So if a fetch is long, it means the wave is going to be larger and have more energy because the fetch is the length of water the wind blows over. Now on here, you can see we have these stars and these stars relate to these places around the world, Cornwall in the UK, Perth in Australia, Hawaii in the Pacific Ocean, Vidana in Angola and Stockholm in Sweden. Now look at their respective fetches. I want you to rank in order who you feel will get the biggest waves. Okay, think about who's gonna get the best waves for surfing based on the fetch, that length of water the wind blows over to create waves. That's the first task I want you to do, rank those in order. Now, Moving on, we're going to look at the different types of waves. Now, there's two types of waves. There's a destructive wave and a constructive wave. Now, they are pretty logical about what they do. The destructive wave is the one with large energy. It's the one that has a huge amount of erosion. So a really large backwash when the water goes back out and a really strong swash. So when the water comes in, high energy. Whereas constructive waves are a bit different. They're very low energy and they have a large swash. So when the water comes in, it spreads out really, really far, which dissipates, which means runs out the energy. So it deposits, lets go of the material it's carrying. So it deposit, deposition is the dominant process. So we have destructive and constructive. So this is your task. We're gonna watch some videos. I'm gonna show you them and we're going to create a little voiceover for those videos. So if we have a little look at those videos now, this here is a destructive wave. Now the links are on, so you can't see the link. It's not working too, but you can see that. But you see, it comes in high energy, high energy waves there coming in. And that frothing there is all that energy hitting the coastline. Dragging material back, erosion being the dominant process. A more extreme example is here in Hornsea. And you see here, hear that wind. Yeah? And you see the energy the waves are coming in at, smashing into the coastline, dragging material back out. So they are your destructive waves. Whereas these are your constructive waves. Now they're very different. These are low energy and you can see here the wind is very different smaller and the swash is bigger and this one especially if we look at it the swash is a lot bigger on this one you see how the wind pulls in the wave it spreads out really 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 far and deposits all its material behind now what that creates is a beach, okay? And that's how we have our beaches, because of these constructive waves, they create beaches. So there's your four videos. They're also on the slides here. Your job is simple. Think about this. What type of waves created that? Is it gonna be that low energy constructive wave or that high energy destructive wave? Here, this cave. What could have created that? Well, this, this is called a land spit, where the wind has brought in the wave and the wave is deposited the material. And as the wind changes direction, the material turns a corner. And it's called a land spit. What type of wave would have created that? Or this is called rotational slumping, where material on the cliff has been eroded away underneath 
and it's slumped down. It's almost like you're sitting on a sofa and you slump down like that. Or here, this huge sandy beach. Now we choose a video. I want to use the information on the next couple of slides and create a 25 second voiceover for your chosen clip. Now I want to write that out, send it in along with the rest of the work from this lesson. And the challenge is could you record your voiceover with the video and send that in as well? A bit of editing skills, a bit more of a, you know, show a bit of ambition there, what can you do? The information is here, and this, obviously this PowerPoint will be up as well. Here's the information. There is another task as well, which is here, all about demonstrating your understanding of what waves do using a Venn diagram and putting those statements into a Venn diagram, which ones cross over, which ones are just constructive and which ones are just destructive. And there's a challenge there about how might their impact be detrimental, so negative and also beneficial. So there you go, guys. If you need to rewind about the video, do that. But that's your task. Get it sent into the geography email address, please. And we'll, we'll assess it. We'll send back some feedback and lovely stuff. See you in a bit.